Uh, Hi, neighbors. Heads up to everyone. I found a piece of cheese on my doorstep. I don't really know what that means, but I think it's a way of tagging my home. <laughs> the epic gangs of cheese <laughs> roaming our streets, tagging our homes with single slices of craft. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let's read the rest. <laughs> Hopefully not. It's not. <laughs> but just to think that someone was at my door at night really scared me. So be aware of anything suspicious. We already reported to the police. So if you see something weird, report. <laughs> Someone lost a craft single outside of our door. We're being targeted. <laughs> What's up, my beardos and weirdos? One topic here, and today we're taking a look at a brand new subreddit called you Karen <laughs> We haven't covered this before, but some of our friends have, and they've really recommended that we try it, so I Yep, uh, we're gonna do it, huh? <laughs> All right, let's get started. I relish explaining to rude, incompetent retail employees that I am profit and they are overhead, just in case they forgot that little fact. I think you're completely misunderstanding how this interaction is actually supposed to go. You go in, you purchase an item, and then you leave. That purchase is profit. You are not. You literally, in this interaction, are overhead. <laughs> you're costing that employee time, which costs the store profit. What? No! <laughs> They'd probably make more money ensuring that you're not interrupting other customers and kicking you out rather than accepting your $9 purchase of soap. <laughs> oh my god, I haven't seen you in a while. Let's stand in everyone's f***ing way. This. <laughs> I don't need any restaurants. They need me. I don't need any cinemas. They need me. I don't need any theaters. They need me. Those two are suspiciously similar, but that's okay. I don't need any hairdressers. They need me. I don't need any energy vampires. Why getting a little off track here, but that's okay. The feeling when you realize who is really in control here. <laughs> it's probably the vampires. I honestly don't know why I brought them up. I'm feeling a little drained today. <laughs> Karen, please. I really don't. Honestly, with all of the ruckus and commotion that you're gonna cause, just, just with your presence in general, they will make more money just not having you around. Honestly. <laughs> this just in! Woman refuses to wear mask because pants don't block the tootie smells? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think the... <laughs> I think the thing that this person is failing to consider is that masks are put on because of water droplets. <laughs> and if you're trying to compare that to your tootie toots, I'm very concerned that you think the other end has water droplets coming out of it too. Huh. <laughs> Please, I I just, I know this is a massive oversimplification, but honestly, if this is their very silly argument, I think they need a good jumping off point and that's something they can Google is, should my tootie toots have giant water droplets like when I cough? <laughs> <laughs> this just in! Woman thinks a dozen donuts means 50! Keeps demanding for more! <laughs> well, you've heard of a dozen. That's 12. You've heard of a baker's dozen. That's 13. So logically, Karen's dozen <laughs> is 50! Very, very reasonable. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> I just heard someone say, Do you know who I am? To a flight attendant on a 55-minute Spirit Air flight. There's only one acceptable use case for do you know who I am? You wanna see it? You wanna watch it with me? <laughs> one minute, one minute please. <laughs> Time, thank you. Put down your pens and bring your papers to the front of the room. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, you're too late. Gave you plenty of warnings about time. You failed. <laughs> sorry. Excuse me, do you know who I am? <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. 
Good. <laughs> yeah, get wrecked. <laughs> it's the one time. It's the one time you get to say, do you know who I am? And have it be entirely justified. <laughs> 90 scientists. <gasps> we cloned a sheep. We landed a robot on Mars. Scientists today. For the last time, Karen, the earth is round. <laughs> I was very excited when I was a kid and scientists on TV were saying things like, Oh yes, through this very cool scientific method, we could actually clone mammoths with existing elephants and frozen eggs and just make new mammoths. But it'll take 20 years. And here I am, <laughs> what, like 20 years later? <laughs> and we don't have mammoths. And I think one of the contributing reasons as to why we don't have mammoths today is because of all the backsliding that society is generally doing in regards to science. It makes... Me sad. <laughs> I want my big furry elephants. Sheesh. This man threw himself on the floor when he was asked to wear a face mask. Oh, sir. <laughs> sir, please act like an adult. <laughs> the weird amount of regression that certain adults go through when they're trying to convince us that we're in the wrong and being very silly and childish for listening to those who know more than us. And yet this is what they do. <laughs> Get up. <laughs> if you ever ask to speak to the manager and this guy walks out, just say thank you and leave. It's all good. I didn't mean any trouble. I'm walking away, Gus, okay? It's all good. No, he is there to do his job. And that is to take... <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. He is there to do his job. And that is to hear what I have to say. He may not like it, but it is his job. <sighs> Please. <laughs> I appreciate how the name is just very lightly censored to the point where we could we could kind of assume the first one there is Karen. I don't get the joke, but if they're a manager, they better listen to me. <laughs> hey, <laughs> friendly reminder that those plastic masks <laughs> shrink your celery and counteract our testosterone. <laughs> Putting aside for a moment that, no, <laughs> no, I think it says something about someone, perhaps more than they wanted to share, that this was their biggest concern. And I think it says a lot more about people that, w were this to be true, having this knowledge that they still went ahead and wore a mask, knowing that, you know, maybe losing a little bit of celery off the top, not that big of a concern in the grander scheme of things. Fella, please. <laughs> Oblivion NPC runs for her life after destroying window. <laughs> you better let me on this bus. How dare you? <laughs> Open the doors now. Let me on this bus. No! <laughs> oh god, all the cars that I haven't drive around. This is so unsafe. You're filming me? Well, then I'm gonna film you. Oh no. Oh, she she's really feeling herself. She feels like she's making a point. Oh, she's calling the cops. Then pay with your ah. oh. Oh, my God. oh, you did not you did not realize what Oh, and bail? And now you're bailing? No. no <laughs> you did that. <laughs> Instantly, but I'm the victim. Stop right there, criminal oh, I'm going to make a run for it. <laughs> They'll never catch me now. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> My boss offered me a 40% increase in salary and a big promotion. I turned him down. Down. <laughs> Why? I don't want to be handed something. I want to earn it. Maybe I'm just built different. Rise and grind, am I right? No! No! <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, if it's someone with this kind of mindset, I'm, kind of, I'm, I'm fine with them not getting a promotion and having any semblance of power over others and maybe the boss looked at that and went like huh all right cool <laughs> wait how did you expect to get ahead in the workplace the longer i shine my boss's shoes the more likely it is that i shall inherit the company no <laughs> did you think this was like ancient times and you had to commit regicide to get ahead ah yes now it is my turn to wear the crown <laughs> you dummy <laughs> not compromising my grandparents started it all my uncle put those bible verses on everything bible verse bible verses Bible 
versus. <sighs> okay, let's take a look at something just really quick. Versus. <laughs> versus. <laughs> okay, Karen. <laughs> My name is Lindsay Snyder, businesswoman, majority owner of In and Out Burgers. All right, and let's see what your example of Bible verses are. Um. Oh. <laughs> Had a. Uh, you had space to fit the whole one on there, hey? <laughs> ah, they're just giving you homework. I see. Bible versus. Bible versus. <laughs> an update to yesterday's tweet. Read the letter I received from an anonymous, judgy McJudgy face neighbor who disapproved of my dragon display and asked me to consider removing them. I have added more dragons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get him, Diana. <laughs> oh, can you imagine sending your neighbor? I'm assuming perhaps this is around Halloween time. If it's a yearly decoration, I might understand having a, a conversation with them, but not an anonymous letter. How cowardly. <laughs> if it's around Halloween and someone has a nice little Halloween decoration outside their home, let people have their fun. Cancer dog turd. Uh, what? <laughs> Cancer dog turd. You can get cancer from dogs with colon cancer. Look at what dogs do with their nose and tongue and butt. Cancer cells. <laughs> Pervert cancer. No dogs in house. Cancer dog get 10 times more cans than you and me. <laughs> stop, stop. It has to be fake. Karen, please. <laughs> so my brother just sent this text about an anti-vaxxer to COVID vaccine clinic and I am deceased. This is the one that's done it. Crying, dying, dead. <laughs> Stay till the end. Speaking of vaccines, please enjoy this very real story told to me by my buddy Steve at Fantasy Hockey League about his brother Scott. In other news, I gotta share the story Scotty told me the other day because it's insane. He works at a COVID vaccine clinic and they had a lady come in to get vaxxed. She insisted on leaving her sleeves down for the shot. They said that they couldn't do that. Eventually, she pulled her sleeves up to reveal a raw chicken breast that she taped to her arm. <laughs> Think of that! <laughs> Ah, and I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you meddling scientists. <laughs> Hi, we are looking for an amazing adult with a great personality and common sense. Must have experience being friendly, organized, outgoing, clean, and drama free with a capital D. Uh -huh. Able to keep up in a fast pace and oh, what's this? Thanks a latte. P.S. You will be reported to the Department of Unemployment if you do not show up to your interview with us. <laughs> Type full time. <laughs> The job description says, can you handle constructive criticism? <laughs> I hope they can, because this job listing sucks. <laughs> oh, I just saw that plus bonus gift cards when earned. Mo oh God, I should have read the rest of this. Flexibility is a must. Must be willing to actually work. Hey, is very good, but you have to work for it. <laughs> Nobody wants to work these days. This is the job listing. <laughs> Me mum claims speed of aggressive Aldi cashier left her crying and shaking. <gasps> oh, how dare they? The horde of hooligan cashiers out at Aldi's. <laughs> the speed. Oh my goodness. The want of this impossible Goldilocks scenario that they're all striving for is, just, is, is terrifying. They want everything to be perfect and always their way, but like not too fast, but not too slow. And oh my goodness, if you don't meet them exactly where they want to be, send them the manager. <laughs> it's almost as if nothing will ever be good enough, no matter what. Shut up, Karen. <laughs> I told him as an expert in the field, I strongly recommend wearing it, but he just kept bringing up his rights. I'm covered in bees. Ah, unfair. <laughs> Come on. And your first name is Karen, too. We really live in the darkest timeline when they themselves cannot see the irony in this. Ran into a Karen today, all because I was parked into a parking spot she wanted, but was nowhere near. Ugh. This happened at HEB in Annaville while I had my six month old daughter in the car with me. Oh my God, you better not be parking into my parking spot, holy- Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Oh no, okay. Uh, I have a feeling this picture is gonna get censored, but uh, she's holding a, a water pistol, a full on water pistol with a laser sight on it to make sure the water is super accurate in a situation that someone takes their parking spot. Holy dang. I will not do a survey so I can read the article. Karen, it's three anonymous questions, lol. Well, Michael Bakersmith, it's still not worth it. Mm. 
Don't they love free stuff and just getting away with not paying things? Is honestly, is honestly answering a survey a bridge too far? It's free, Karen. That's what you've always wanted. <laughs> I'm deeply disappointed to have received this request for a review. Mm -hmm. I purchased these shoes for my husband's birthday, which has not yet happened. So when he saw this email, he instantly knew what part of his present was going to be. I really think there should be an option when purchasing goods, whether or not a review request can be sent. Mm -hmm. This is an adequate reflection of my opinion of this product. <laughs> is that it inconvenienced me that I was asked what I thought of it, when I clearly could have set up filters in my email to avoid avoided this issue. <laughs> but hey, at least they gave it two out of five instead of a one out of five. Thanks, Karen. What a what a thoughtful gift. <laughs> oh, your poor husband. <laughs> so let me get this straight. A group of municipal lawmakers affirmatively banded together in agreement over the decision to jail 13 year olds up to six months over for overage trick or treating. Okay. Halloween rules. Trick or treaters over 12 years old. <gasps> Misdemeanor. <laughs> Find 25 to $100 of their allowance and or jailed up to six months. What? Trick or treating after 8 p.m. Oh. Wow! Misdemeanor fine 10 to $100. Okay, a little bit of a break at the shallow end. And or jail up to 30 date after 8 p.m. You know what time we would go trick-or-treating to? Till people shut off their lights and stopped answering their doors. <laughs> you still knock on some of them, but then you realize, oh, I've missed my chance because all of this neighborhood is dark. Shoot. And I absolutely went trick-or-treating after 13 years old. You know what the kids were doing who weren't trick-or-treating after 13 years old? They were tagging buildings and like throwing rocks and being all ruckus and drinking and whatnot. Is that the alternative that you want? <laughs> My complaint today is about sidewalks. This morning between 9 and 10 a.m. I counted no less than 15 dogs plus owners walking past my house on the sidewalk. I mean, the, the dogs were walking themselves. <laughs> Assuming similar usage over 24 hours, that's roughly 360 dogs plus owners per day or 180 unique dogs plus owners if we're considering two walks per day per dog and owner. Sidewalks have on average a 15 to 25 year lifespan under normal wear and tear circumstances, but I'm wondering if this is considered normal wear and tear or are we placing additional stress on our sidewalks from overuse? Our tax dollars go to the maintenance and replacements of these sidewalks and I wish people would be more mindful of this going forwards. There are plenty of parks and yards for your animals. Animals. <laughs> <laughs> This is one massive step removed from the get off of my lawn, old man you'd normally see. <laughs> get off of my sidewalks? What? <laughs> Imagine being such a grumpy old Karen that you can't stand the sight of your neighbors having a nice walk outside. <laughs> Pizza Hut hits back after diners complaint about its sexualized tomato sauce bottle. Did Pizza Hut put like a booty on the bottle? <laughs> Diner Adrian Shen complained last month about a tomato sauce bottle's wording he believed to be too adult fun timey for the family friendly restaurant. <laughs> Please, let's find out what it actually said. Fast food giant Pizza Hut has replied to a customer who recently expressed his distaste for wording used on one of the retailer's sauce bottles. Adrian Shan last month slammed Pizza Hut following a dining experience at its Hull, England outlet, where he likened its tomato sauce label to an app for swingers. <laughs> I mean, if people are brave enough to swing at Pizza Hut, power to them. <laughs> Mr. Shan was unhappy with the bottle sticker, which read, shake squeeze and squirt. It's not innocent in my eyes. The barbecue sauce one said squeeze, but the ketchup one said that. It put me off using it. It literally sounds like an app for swingers. The 31 year old, you are an adult. <laughs> you you're a full grown person saying these things. Have some perspective. <laughs> Friend, if this is what you have on your mind, maybe you need a better outlet for getting it off of there. <laughs> I'm giving one star because of the cheap management and customer service. I heard the food was very good, so I went to try. Me and the boyfriend got calamari, spaghetti, and gnocchi. All were very delicious. I was actually so impressed that when the manager came to ask us how everything tasted, I told her it was some of the best Italian food I've had. And I told her I'm going to post about it on Instagram where I have over 11,000 followers. And a lot of them are in the area. She seemed very happy about it. 
I was wrong. I thought that she would be grateful for the free advertising, but when the check came, there was literally no discount at all. <laughs> you mean that manager wasn't going to pay for the free advertising? <laughs> the advertising that hadn't already happened? You wanted the restaurant to tip you? Shut the front door. Oh my God. <laughs> I thought at least one of the entrees would be taken off and they didn't even take off the calamari or even the drinks. I won't go back here because of this. Good. Why would the restaurant want you to stay if you're not even gonna wanna pay for all the food that you ordered? Which is a shame because the food was very good. The manager needs to understand how to treat customers. <sighs> <laughs> Karen, stop! <laughs> All right, my bears and weirdos, that's more than I could take. I should have stopped recording. I've been recording for an hour and a half and I should have stopped ages ago. <laughs> it's not all making it in. Some of it absolutely melted my brain and I cannot handle it anymore. I'm done. <laughs> oh, feel free to let me know what I should cover next. I, I did this one based on your request. So, hey, why not? Let's do it again. <laughs> you want to hang out with me more? I stream on Twitch quite regularly. You'll see me over there and just I don't know. Try to say something positive in the comments for me, for my sake, for everyone else. Just <laughs> if you made it to the end, oh, gosh, help us. <laughs> All right, my British and weirdos. We'll see you in the next one where we take it one topic at a time. Roll that outro. That didn't even damage us. There it is. Look, there he is. It's like a big whale swimming around there. See, look, he didn't even have it didn't even attack us. Whoop! <laughs> he bumped me right back to my ship. That's so aww. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. That's so cute. <laughs> it like bumped me all the way back to my little boop. <laughs>